Hey there, and welcome back to more Elegy for Dead World. That's the thing, this, this is what it's called. They drop you right into this thing, by the way. Um, we played some of that before. It's a game most, well, it's very light on game elements. It's more of um, a writing resource. And you have these three worlds. And they each present one sort of writing challenge that you can do. And they give you a list of options to do them in any kind of way you want. We're gonna do this one. I don't think we did that one. Um, start writing. They're gonna give you a whole bunch of options. Mm, just gonna move through them. It's gonna be mostly silence, probably, because I'll just be reading stuff and trying to come up with ways to make stuff. Dry. St yeah, that was that was quality, just top shelf banter right there. Of course, they have the freeform option where there's absolutely nothing and you just shoot however you'd like. Grammar workshops, if you want to um, improve on your writing. Established pieces. Ooh. War of the Worlds. So there's some literary words there that um, you can sort of alter to your liking. Or maybe you're the type of person who wants to test their knowledge and want to see if you can like recreate verbatim stretches. I don't know if it is though, if it's like word for word the same. It could be, like you can match up the writing as it was originally done. See, I like these, where you like just take the scenery that they're gonna present you with and try to write your own, but um, 10 choices we made. I, f I did a scenery thing last time, so this time I think the choices thing could be inspiring. So they're gonna give you um, prompts that are gonna appear on certain panels of these 2D worlds with like foreground and background elements kind of try to capture your eyes so that you can start writing. There you go. We'll go inside. Ten times. We um, will likely have to go back once we get a full grasp of the story like we did last time. Ten times we... how great my writing is without any form of help. Because normally, this is, it's the modern era. You go for reference point material, etc. Nine times we... Hmm. That dude just made me write stuff because I was reading about it. You'll have to wait though, I'm busy. Wait, I also lost my train of thought, huh? Now times we start not knowing how our... Um... Or continue or end, yeah. Sure. We'll see. 
will draft our story and then go back to it. Luckily you can, because otherwise, without that, I'd be lost. There's not a lot of visual stimuli here that um, go with the story that I'm writing so far, though. There we go. Maybe this will provide. There's also background noises, heavy breathing, etc. Hmm. Probably gonna be something nonsensical once we get through all the ten steps, but we'll have to see. <clears throat> Six times we. What can we gain from this panel? Oh my, that's a much colder presentation something. here I need to backtrack a little I think the warm and cold theme will do us some good to present some contrast in that writing oh my how do I I gotta... Maybe I should have tried and conducted some sort of rhyming scheme, but that's very hard to do. Like, you have to have an entire backstory already 
made up. Might be good for a second go, though. Like, maybe this this thing we picked was more of a second turn sort of thing. It's definitely getting colder. In scenery, both as in color schemes, etc. We're almost at the end. Ooh. That's a weird looking snowman. Ooh, it's probably gonna sink up nicely. Yeah. Yep. Nice. It's not a riding problem, but it's very visually enticing. <sighs> no. What's that? Uh, One more to go into the field of cold darkness we go. And that's it. That's one scheme done. Now it's going to give you the options to go back, etc. Which we will definitely do. Also just to check if I didn't mess up along the way somewhere. And we'll also... Um, wait. There we go. Ten times we bothered on the elements before us and took a stand. Nine times we stuttered not knowing how our progress would continue or end. Eight times the light that followed our journey provided the warm and glow needed to finish our steps with the seventh time the warm grew thicker than anticipated, making each foot heavier than the last. Six times we charted our surroundings trying to clear the grasp of the moment. Five times we felt a slight chill not knowing where it originated from. Ooh. You know what's nice? It's just at the halfway point that the warmth from the first theme starts to switch and becomes cold. We were in awe of the ominous state we were in, the third, third time we were determined that we would reach our destination. Two times we retraced our steps, proving to ourselves that the path we had taken was the right one, and finally the cold overtook any fire in our spirits. It's kind of nice, it's kind of depressing, it has a very, you think it's gonna have a positive end of that. Kind of just, I like it actually. I don't think, like in the previous one, um, see you can go add it to your pieces. See if you had anything where you went horribly wrong, you can press tab, you can just redo. But actually, actually kind of liked it. Um, how to call it though? A song of fire and ice. That hasn't been taken, right? No. Is is it is it done? Hmm. Exodus. Nah. 
I'm not good at titles. I'll keep saying it. It's not my forte. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, my caps lock was on. The Ember Adventure, that's what I'll call it. You'll probably not like it. I think it represents like the will, like the fire, to go on a journey and eventually the Ember kind of snuffs itself out. Yeah. Okay, do we have to go? We... Oh, we... Um, where do I... Let's just publish it. Ah, read someone else's work. Mapping the Moon by M Short. Just, you get stories from other Steam users who have LG for that world. And you get to see their story. Um, depending on which theme they took, so remember the themes from the first where they give you either established works, free form, etc. You get one of these and you get to see how they viewed that same exact world that you went into. Initial access inside a heated cave, some sunlight from above through large glass. I should read this correctly and give you a sense of M Short's work. Initial access inside geothermally thermally heated cave. Some sunlight admitted from above through large glass panes. Air highly regulated here. Oh, it's going to be in a stop sign research model. Alright. Diagrams on the inside of the cave surface record information about the movement of astrono astronomical bodies that cannot be seen from inside the cave. Several metal-based placards, roughly 2.5 meters in height. Form preliminary survey for archaeological team. Halverson will of course never approve money for survey team, so not sure why I'm bothering. Oh, now it takes a little personal as well. Numerous buildings have been built inside the cave, perhaps for privacy, if not for shelter. Good, that's ominous. Well, foreboding. Statue representing plants, yellow moon, various writings underneath containing offers and pledges from inhabitants. Keen eye for detail. Apparent library or document chamber, organized under six alphabet letters or sigils. Fourth document collection destroyed apparently by fire while other documents remained untouched. Symbolic religious or political act. Sigil indicates burn both concern to dual moons. Efforts to open other document chambers abandoned early. Translucent casing extremely strong, perhaps some sort of artificial diamond. Documents appear to be kept in inert gas as well, so breaking seal might be undesirable anyhow. Next time, send better equipped survey team. Star sigils painted in ancient paints believe this structure to be significantly older than many others encountered so far. Representation of the yellow moon, the one that has the atmosphere, moon surface features not modeled. Sigils contain rituals appeal to the yellow moon, example given holy moon, summer moon, be gentle to us. And on the other side, sinless moon, gaseous moon, preside over our crops, no mention of the other black moon. Light source mechanism still working, apparently fed by geothermic power, give various load zones when touched. But they have 29 parts though, so it's gonna be a very long journey. It's the same world though, there's just many many more prompts. That's kind of interesting as well. And apparently it grows dark. Wait, I'm gonna give that a read myself, but we'll move on and we'll see if anything interesting happens.
recommend the author, you can do that yes or no. If you read through the entire story, I don't see why you would not do that, of course. Always try and be nice to the community that you are involved in in your game, because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want that to be the same for you as well? And boom! That's more LG for Dead World. It was a very interesting story. It got very personal, diverted from the scientific. And hopefully somebody will like my story too. It would be nice. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button so that you won't, you only need to do it once and then and never again. Comments, suggestions, like if you can. It would be nice too. Bye.